Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 20. Inside this video session guys, we are going to save our form data and also we will check for the duplication of records in our database table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video sessions, we had discussed about all possible ways to validate our form. So if I back to browser, now here we have made form fields. As we can see, name, email, phone number and the salary. We have put all the fields what we have inside our table, something called TBL underscore users. Inside this users table, we have, if you go to structure, we have these columns like name, email, phone number and the salary. So we are going to save the data from this form to this database table and also we will check that if suppose one email address is already exist inside this column so we don't need to insert again with the same email address. So back to editor. Now inside this form.php here is the form fields that we have made. Name, email already we have seen. Next to fields we have added something called phone number all the syntaxes should be same and the salary all the syntaxes are according to our previous input fields okay so we are going to save that so as we know that while submitting this form basically it hits this route so if I copy this route go to routes.php file if I search here now this is the method actually calling from this users controller so back to user.php but let me find this method here and this is the method inside this method Already we had done about the form validation rules with the txt name and the txt email. So now we are going to add also the two fields something called phone number and the salary inside our validation rules. So copy the name attribute of txt phone number. So if I copy that back to our controller and let's say that again if I make an array inside this array just if I copy and paste pasting it here at this time this is not txt underscore email this is txt underscore phone and here let's say that phone number it is required and all the things actually we are not going to check that so remove all the rules next we have to copy and paste for the salary so if I back to form.php this is the name attribute so copy that back to controller and inside this rule sets let's say that this is for the salary so get it off phone number let's say salary so if I save this file back here reload this page now if I submit this page without submitting any data now as we can see that phone number field is required and the salary field is required so these are the validation messages that we have supplied along with our input fields now next after putting all those values we are going to save this data to our database table. So inside this else block, we are going to insert the data from this else block. So if I get rid of all these things, and let's say that we are going to call a model, something called user underscore model, and here we have a method. From that matter, actually, we will insert the data. So let's say that insert into users table. Inside that, we are going to pass our array so let's say that this is simply data array we are going to make that array so if I copy this array pasting it here and let's say that array inside this array we have to put all those fields what we have actually taken from our form so firstly let's say that data equal to this input and the post inside this data variable now we are getting our all values so back to our database table let's say that we have the name so back here let's say name equal to data and inside this data we have something called txt name this is the first field that we have actually stored inside this name key again we have another column something called email so copy that pasting it here and let's say that this is txt underscore email again if I copy and paste let's say that this is if I back to column structure this is phone number back here let's say phone number pasting it here 
and we have the key something called txt phone if I copy and paste this is for the salary again go here and let's say that txt underscore salary okay now this is the data actually we are going to put inside this method now we have to make our user model so back to models folder now inside this model right now we have no model like user underscore model so firstly we need to create that so go here create a PHP file let's say user underscore model dot PHP now inside this file firstly we need to make the class inside that class we need to make the method so let's say the class user underscore model extends CI model inside this firstly we need to make the constructor so public function by using our PHP magic function we can declare our constructor function and let's say this load database just we have connected this model with our database go to our user controller now we have to create this method so back here let's say that public function and this is the function name inside this function we are receiving some data like an array so back here let's say that data underscore array now we are going to insert these data inside our table something called TVL users so if I copy this table name back here and let's say that this DB insert in the first parameter we need to pass the table name in the second we need to pass the data so copy and paste it in it here and finally we have to return the result of that means it will return 1 it if it will be inserted else it will return the 0 value so back to controller let's say that I am going to put all these things inside if block so if I copy this let's say that if here and it is returning one value it means that value has been inserted else the value has not been inserted now inside these two things like if block and the else block when the record has been inserted then we need to notify the user that the user has been inserted or created so for that I am going to use a library something called session to make our flash messages to inside this library we are going to use multiple libraries so that actually we have to make an array inside this array we need to load all these things like form validation and the session so back to our method and let's say that if suppose the record has been inserted so this this is the library that we have loaded and inside this library we have a method something called set flash data inside this method firstly we need to provide the key so let's say success inside that we need to second parameter as a message so let's say that user has been created successfully so if I save this file and again we need to redirect on the same page so let's say that here we are going to use a method something called redirect inside this redirect we need to redirect on the route so back to our routes and here is the route so if I copy go here and I am pasting it here again if I copy all these two lines back here else block and this time this is not success this is error message so pasting it here changing the key name and something let's say that failed to create user in that same condition we need to redact the user on the same form so successfully we have made our flash messages only we need to receive these messages inside our form.php file so back to form.php file and let's say that if I go at the top here instead of this validation error messages if I go here and let's say that firstly we need to check that any message inside of flash we have or not so inside if let's say this session and let's say flash data inside this data 
we need to pass the key name. So successfully, success is the key what we have supplied for the success message. So after checking this key, if it exists, then we are going to make something called we are going to use the alert of our bootstrap. So at this time, this will contain class btn btn let's say success and here is the message we are going to supply so if I copy it and pasting inside this PHP tag so let's echo and this is here so if I save this file back to our browser again if I reload this page and let's say that I'm going to enter a record let's say Vikash at gmail.com phone number something dummy value and Sally let's say dummy so if I press submit button we have some error error is that undefined property called user model obviously because we have made our user model but not loaded inside this controller so firstly we need to load that so back to top let's say that this load model inside this model array we need to pass the model name something called user underscore model so if I save this file back here again go back let's say that I'm going to press submit button now as we can see that user has been created successfully as the flash message so if I back to our database table browse this now at the last record as we can see that the, at the 11th number ID our record has been inserted so this is how guys actually we can insert our data from this form to our database table now let's say that if we have inserted the record something with the name of this Vikas email address now next time if you want to enter the same record with the same email ID then we need to actually give the error message to the user that email already exists so how can we do that so back to editor so for that we have a validation rule for the email section or any of the keys so we are going to apply the uniqueness validation for this email address so back here now I'm going to add inside these rule sets if I just remove this callback feature from here and let's say that we have something called is unique we have a spelling mistake so this should be unique okay inside this unique inside this box we need to pass a table name so basically we are going to insert the data something called TBL users inside this users table we have the column something called email by the help of this column actually we need to validate that so if I putting it here something called is unique is also uh, our rule and this is the table name and this is the column so by putting these conditions by putting this rule actually we are validating the duplication of email from this table so back to our browser now inside this form if I reload again if I copy this email address of Vikas go to the form and let's say that this time I'm going to use a test user so let's say that email address is same and again I'm going to enter some phone number and sadly let's say dummy value so if I press submit button now as we can see that we have two errors the first is about the name parameter should be maximum of or at least six characters in length so if I pass sample and here as we can see that guys here is another message about that email field must contain a unique value this is how about our use is unique rule works so basically guys inside this video we had discussed about how can we save our form data to our database table also we have seen about the flash messages and also we have actually used the rule something called is unique to check out duplicacy records so inside this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.